Welcome. Today I'd like to work on this Shimano 600 RD6207 rear derailleur. This particular version is the short cage version. It has some interesting features, notably the 6mm uh, Allen key bolts throughout the derailleur. you see one here at the back. So this uh, particular model is fairly scratched up and in a poor shape. The jockey ball cage is somewhat stiff, probably needs some new grease. We're going to disassemble the rear derailleur. I'm going to try and clean up as much as I can, remove some of the surface rust on some of these bolts to make it look nicer and uh, add grease on the pivoting parts and cleaning out the jockey wheels. Let's begin. So I'm going to begin by taking off the smaller parts such as these bolts. Let's take off these jockey wheels. So it is indeed a number eight that we're going to need. Here there's a Phillips bolt that we need to remove that's going to relieve the tension on the bottom knuckle, bottom spring. So we're going to pull it back and uh, turn that up, get that off. Now that can undo remove this bolt right here that's going to allow us to remove the inner jockey wheel cage just going to note where the okay looks like the spring tip is on the left i think we've undone that now yeah Okay, so we can see it's uh, bone dry on the interior. We can lift that up. Take off that seal. This bolt should go through. It isn't. It's quite stuck. So there's another seal. I'm gonna remove these limit screws. We're going to now remove the bolt from the top knuckle. There's a clip here at the back that needs to be taken out. So use something sharp to kind of get behind it. This one's pretty stuck. I'm going to just take this plier. You don't need to, but I just hate it when these fling into your finger. So we're going to lift up the this plate. It's really close to coming off. It's just holding on. Unbelievable how stuck it is. So it's so stuck. I'm uh, I'm just bashing out the pivot itself. Make it easier to take off. Still stuck on there. I managed to remove this. The uh, I needed to use a clamp to clamp it out. In fact, now this is stuck inside practically. I got it off. Um, there was no way of doing it by hand. It's just really, really well, it's pressed, pressed in. So anyway, we've now reached the, the spring. 
the long tip goes into this plate here at the back. Uh, so there's a seal here that we're going to take off now. Easier to remove it, pushing it from the back than uh, than at the front. Right, so that's everything on this derailleur removed. So as per usual, we're going to clean everything up. This one might take a while, as I can see everything's pretty much bone dry and well, there's lots of old dirt on on the the parts as well. And uh, this part here does seem to remove. I've given most of the parts a clean now, and I'm going to proceed on to the greasing of uh, the pivots and the springs. Let's begin with the top knuckle. You have this uh, joint, no, you have this uh, seal. That has a small ridge inside it. I think it's uh, about here, sticking out. So that's gonna go into the gap uh, on top there. So we're gonna slide that in. Once you've done that, we can now put the spring through. There's a, actually a hole at the back of the knuckle when we're inserting it through here. And you need to aim for the tip of that spring to to go in that hole, so I've done that. Next we're going to grab this um, stopper plate that also has the type of an axle going through. Uh, there's this plastic seal that's going to sit on the top. Uh, we're going to aim for, where's the hole? So the hole here for the other tip of the spring, you need to put that seal which also has another hole. Aim, aim, them, uh, aim it in the right place. Now we're going to push this through. Now this uh, this part here actually had a problem going through the seal. Uh, it might be the, the reason why I had such a big hard time removing it as well. So we're going to need to use a plier to possibly push this uh, back in to the right place. Now you need that stopper to go uh, in front of this part here. I'm going to just make sure that's not slipping. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so I'm going to push down and it doesn't seem to be going in. So I will be needing a, a plier. I'm having a hard time getting this uh, this part to go through a seal. It's just really weird how they've done this. Uh, so I'm gonna put the seal back and this time I'm going to, I'm gonna put the bolt through and hopefully it's gonna help it guide the whole thing when I'm gonna press it down. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it worked straight away. In fact, uh, popping it, uh, popping it down. I'm gonna try and lift it back up again to get that stopper in. I'm gonna just use something to hold that in place, or the spring's tensioned anyway. And now I can get the plier. Hopefully that will work. Yeah, it's worked. Great, now I can let go of this. Now let's put the clip back at the back of the bolt. We can now start working on the um, bottom knuckle. So there's a seal here that's gonna fit through the hole. Might as well install the bolt now. As for the spring, I'm pretty sure the shorter end is gonna go at the back of the knuckle and there's a hole you can see just about here so we're going to aim for that push through yeah now there was a seal here okay that's on so there was this uh, part that um, seems to just sit, it goes through here eventually. I'm gonna push that down a little bit. Uh, we're gonna grab that jockey wheel cage 
So there's two holes here. One is going to be for more or less tension. I think the right one would be more tension. So we're going to push that through. And now we're going to turn this bolt. Okay. Before we put the stopper for this um, jockey wall cage down, we're going to put the limit screws back in. And uh, the limit screws is going to give me more space here because uh, when I turn this back, this is hitting the top uh, knuckle. And you can see it's lifting up the, the body, giving me more room to work on. I'm going to tension the jockey wheel cage to allow us to put the stopper now in place. Okay, let's. Now good, I'm going to put the anchor bolt back through here. Screw that down. Not as smooth as can be the uh, jockey wheels. Let's get that last bolt through. Right, so complete. I mean, it's moving way better than it was before. In fact, in light of the poor condition of the jockey wheels, they're nearly spinning. It's uh, moving just how it should. So yeah, other than cosmetically, it looks a bit ugly, but the, uh, the radar now is in better condition than it was before. So I hope this helped guide you through your process of uh, dissembling and reassembling your Shimano 600 reader radar. Thank you for listening and until next time, peace out.